guys! I really just wanted to sit and chit chat about life with you guys and do my makeup. I'm first gonna dress the elephant in the room. Frustrating because I've tried to come here, I'm not gonna name. There's just like things I don't want to talk about while I'm in school because it is such a small school. I actually get ready for college and I'll explain that why in the video. My name is Michelle Reed. If you don't know who I am, I'm gonna show you guys how I go from this to this, which isn't really that much of a transformation, but I just thought it'd be fun. I've been seeing these videos a lot and I think that they're really cute. And so I thought that I would go ahead and do this. Let me know if you guys enjoy this chit chat get ready with me i asked you guys a lot of questions within the video too so make sure to leave responses down below because i love when my videos are just like interactive with you guys because at the end of the day you guys are why i do this let's go ahead and get into it so i apologize if it's loud outside they are doing construction starting off with my clinique moisture surge i'm first gonna address the elephant in the room my eyes are super dark and i have really bad bags and that is because i have dealt with some sleeping issues the past couple months like honestly ever since coming here just sleeping has been weird it's finally been a little bit better but like my under eyes are something that i am just so insecure about right now but i always want to be vulnerable on this channel and just share my struggles and because i know like other people have insecurities too and so it's not a big deal for foundation i'm using the l'oreal true match foundation i'm also super pale new york has lost the sunlight and so my skin is just kind of i don't love this foundation i'm honestly just using it because i ran out of the one i was using and i just haven't bought a new one so if you guys have a foundation that you love let me know down below i have kind of drier skin medium coverage would be great also let me know how your week is going are you having a good week are you having a bad week. Going back to the sleep stuff, I mentioned this in one of my like vlogs that was a little bit more <laughs> dramatic. And I'm definitely getting it under control. It's just frustrating because I've tried to see a specialist about insomnia, but in New York, it's so difficult to find a specialist and to get in in a timely manner. One of the ones I looked up doesn't have appointments till February of 2020, but the past week has been a lot better. I've definitely been sleeping a lot more than I usually do, but my under eyes have just suffered a lot. And so I have recently started Gossip Girl for the fourth time. And that's because I've never watched it whenever I was living in New York. And it's so interesting to see like how many places I know and just how I want to go visit all these places since I live here now. It is such a good show, especially it's one of those shows that you can just have on in the background like while you're cooking or something. You don't really have to focus on too intently. I'm like getting this all over my turtleneck though. I want to clean that after. I'm going to apply my Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I love this stuff. I want to do an ad for this because literally this has saved my life since the past three months have like screwed over my sleeping stuff. Such a good concealer. It covers so much. I haven't really talked about this, but a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm putting on makeup and getting ready. So I actually have a business casual dress code, which is the reason why I'm kind of getting ready because it'd be kind of funny to wear business casual, but to not actually get ready. I go to the King's College. I'm also going to apply a little bit of concealer to my pimples because I've recently been getting just a few little breakouts here and there. Powder, I love my Laura Mercier powder. I think this stuff is awesome. It's just in translucent. I'm gonna be baking my under eyes because I also find with like having dark circles that baking my concealer really helps it last all day. This powder is great. I've used it for such a long time. It just gives your skin like this really velvety look and i just think it's really nice and soft it's like matte but it's not too matte and then just going in with that powder and i'm just very lightly dusting the rest of my face obviously it's winter so i feel like my skin doesn't need a ton of powder on the rest of my face for brows i've been using another l'oreal product that they sent me this isn't sponsored i just got these recently and so i've been trying them this is the unbeliever three brow from l'oreal and basically all i do is take the little applicator and fill in my brows i really love the look of like bold brows and the winter time i think it just looks really nice especially whenever you're a little bit more pale i can't even describe to you guys how excited i am for vlogmas this year i think i'm gonna do vlogmas on my main channel just because i feel like more people are watching my vlogs over here and so i'm so excited that one definitely got a little bit messed up and so we're just gonna kind of and then going in with a spoolie and just kind of brushing out my brows I'm kind of feeling like an all matte look today, and so I'm actually gonna use my Neat Matrimony palette. I think that this palette 
is really pretty. I'm taking the brown shades. I'm just going to apply those all over my lid and my crease as like a transition color. Let me know down below who your favorite Vlogmas person is. Like someone who's done Vlogmas for a really long time who you just really love watching. For me personally, I have always loved Christie's. I think Christie's Vlogmas are just like so awesome and so me and I just, her humor is the best. If you guys don't know her, I'll link her down below. She's great. Since I'm not living on campus, I can have a real Christmas tree, which I always grew up having a real Christmas tree at home and so I cannot wait to actually be able to put up like a real Christmas tree in my apartment. I also got a really awesome brand deal with a company I'm not going to name but I'm going to get to decorate my apartment through them and I'm so excited. It's going to be my kickoff vlog for my vlogmas series. I just like cannot wait. It's going to be so fun. I'm also not trying to skip over Thanksgiving. I just feel like since I'm in college and I'm only in New York for like the first half of December. I like really want to take full advantage of it and so. And then I'm just taking this kind of red cranberry color and I'm gonna apply this in my outer corner, a little bit into the crease as well. I'm also going to visit my family in a week from today, which is so exciting. We are going to do Thanksgiving in Virginia with my family that lives there and so I can't wait. I haven't been to Virginia and a really long time. I'm gonna see all my family except Lindsay and Ben, so that's just gonna be really, really fun. Definitely put a little bit too much red <laughs> in my eyes, and I feel like it looks like I have a really bad black eye, so we're just gonna try to blend this out. First, I am just using the L'Oreal Telescopic. I love this mascara. I've used it for such a long time now, and I think that is great. I have class today for most of the night time, and then also I have like a class in the afternoon. And it's so crazy because it's basically my last normal classes before my finals because we have Thanksgiving and then since I'm a senior I don't really have tests I have mostly just like group projects presentations and essays and so it's so weird that like literally I can't believe my second to last semester of college is over a lot of you guys are confused because it feels like I just started college like I haven't been here four years and I've explained this before but I basically just had AP credits from high school 30 credits credits which transfers to a year and so yeah I would definitely recommend taking those classes seriously because you can save a ton of money and actually get out of school which is really useful I mean obviously it's really scary graduating a year early but then just gonna apply bronzer on my forehead first and then I'm gonna apply it to like my cheekbones or whatever I also get a lot of questions about my school because obviously Kings is small not a lot of people go to Kings I'm definitely gonna do a video about my experience um, but not till after I graduate. They're just like things I don't want to talk about while I'm in school because it is such a small school. Definitely glad I went, but there are parts of it that I feel like I wish I would have known like before coming here. And whenever you guys message me about Kings, I try to respond, but I definitely want to do like a whole entire video. It's just hard right now. <laughs> I'm still there. I'm then just going to brush off all the excess of powder. I'm gonna go ahead and do some bronzer on my cheekbones. I really like to load up on the bronzer because I am so pale. And I feel like whenever you're wearing a turtleneck, your skin can be a little bit tanner, but like no one actually really notices. I don't want this to be like a cliffhanger, like, oh, you guys have to wait and see what I think, but I'm just literally doing that because it's just not something that like I wanna talk about while I'm there right now. If that makes sense. I don't know. I feel like if you went to a small school, you would totally understand too. This is me rushing because I'm actually going to be late if I don't finish up. I'm just going to use the Coralista blush from Benefit. It just gives your cheeks like a really nice peachy skin tone. And then I'm going to do mascara on my lower lash line since I haven't done that yet. Let me know if when I'm done with college, if you guys would like to see that video and if you would also like to see kind of just how I grew in New York, getting used to New York, like if you're gonna move here, tips like that, because I feel like that would be really helpful for other people. And then just gonna apply a little bit of highlight. This is the Anastasia Glow Palette. I've used this for a really long time. I feel like it's actually been like a year that I've used this. Applying a little on my nose and my chin. I'm just applying a little bit of my Tarte Lippy Lingerie. I'll put the shade of this on the video. I don't know what shade this one is. It's just like a nice pink color. And that is it for my chit chat get ready with me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you would like to see from me. I'm trying to film a lot more because I know the past month has been a little bit crazy for me. Um, but if you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe down below. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.